Hi guys, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 14 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to replace an empty header with a valid column name using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see what our requirement is. So we have to replace an empty header present in the Excel sheet with a valid column name. So as can be shown in this first diagram, this is how our source data looks like. And here uh, there are three columns. First one is ID, second one is empty and the third one is country. Okay, so basically we need to replace this empty header with a valid column name. Okay, so how to do that? Let's see with the help of data flow. So let me go to Azure portal. Before that, let me show you the source data. So this is our Excel uh, called batsman.xls and it has been uploaded in the container uh, in my uh, Anu demo folder. Okay, so if I try to view the data here, we'll not be able to see anything because it is fully encrypted. So you cannot directly edit an Excel sheet present in our uh, storage account. Okay, you cannot preview or you cannot edit it. So let me create a data flow and create a data set pointing to that Excel. Okay, so I have turned this data flow debug option. Uh, so that we can preview the data during the creation of pipeline or the creation of data flow. So here let me create a new data set pointing to my ADLS Gen 2 and the source data is in Excel sheet. Okay, so let me choose Excel and here in linked service I'll choose an existing linked service and let me go to the file path where our data is residing. Okay, so our data is in first sheet that is sheet 1 as you can see sheet 1 so let me select that particular sheet from the drop down and in this option first row as header what happens if we apply uh, it to be true because our we have the header right so if we uh, just select this as true and try to create this data set let's see what happens so it is giving an error saying invalid Excel header with empty value. Okay, so basically it is not letting us create a data set for the Excel sheet which has an empty header. Okay, so as a result we have to uncheck this box and let me hit on OK so that we can create a data set on top of our source data. Okay, so our data set is ready. Let, let me preview the data here. So our data is visible but the header is also coming as the record okay one of the records so now we have to eliminate this particular row and we need to give a valid column name in place of this null okay so how to do that so first of all to eliminate anything or to filter out any record we need we can use filter transformation so let me add a filter transformation and we will write a condition here so that it will match only this particular record which we need to eliminate okay so we can write column 2 should not be equal to null okay so only filter out those records which are not having column 2 as null so let me write the expression as column 2 not equals to empty okay so if I do that let me preview the data now so our data is visible and we have eliminated the unwanted record that is the first one okay so now our data is coming perfectly but you can see the column names are column underscore 1, column underscore 2, column underscore 3. Okay, so these are auto generated column names but in our case we need the column name as proper formatted name like ID, player name and country. Okay, so we need to explicitly provide those names uh, to the columns. So in the sync transformation we will try to provide explicit mapping. Okay, so let me add a sync transformation here. And let me try to create a data set pointing to ADLS Gen 2. Okay, but we cannot use Excel sheet as a writable data set. So we can only read data from an Excel, but we cannot write to an Excel format of data set. So let me choose CSV as my synced data set. And here let me choose an existing uh, linked service. And let me give the same folder as the file path that is a new demo folder. Let me hit on OK. Okay, and here let me give first row as a header and let me remove this import scheme option. Okay, and in the settings, 
let me choose output to single file and let me select this set single partition and let me explicitly give the name to the output file as output file dot csv ok and now in mapping tab we can see there is a default mapping that is auto mapping is enabled let me disable this auto mapping and let me provide the column names explicitly ok so our column name should be id then player name let me recheck it once here you can see id player name and country so let me give id player name and country ok so now we are good let me preview the data here yeah so you can see our data is coming perfectly with a proper column names ok so let me create a pipeline to load this data so let me call this data flow and hit on debug so let's wait for this data flow to be completed so once this execution will be completed we will check if the output file contains this proper data or not as we are expecting so our data flow execution is completed let me go back to the new demo folder and here let me refresh now you can see output file is coming let me hit on edit and show you the data so you can see our column names are perfectly coming with all the records ok so this is what we wanted to achieve but now le let me talk about one scenario where suppose in the source uh, we have few rows where the column 2 is null where uh, suppose the names are null in few of the columns so with this with the help of this filter transformation those columns will also be neglected as our condition is column 2 should not be empty so not only this first record that is the header record it will eliminate all the records where column 2 is empty right or column 2 is null so to mitigate that what we can do is let me remove this filter and here in the source data set let me go to the data set and there is an option to define range in an excel you can specify a range that is you can locate the cells of an excel from where to where you need to load the data so for example you can see a3 colon h5 so once if you define a3 colon h5 what will happen is it will detect this is a3 and up to h5 so it, it will uh, load the data from a3 to h5 and it, it will eliminate all the other records ok so this is how we can make use of the range function so let me give the range explicitly as a2 since we want to load everything which is after A2 so we are going to define only the starting range that is A2 and it will automatically detect the end range ok how, how I know that let me click on this learn more and here in this excel format dataset property you can see you can you can see that we can define the starting range and it will dynamically detect all the rows below and the columns to the right ok if we give a3 colon h5 it will uh, read only the fixed range if we give a3 colon a3 it will read only the single cell ok but if we give a3 it will auto determine all the records present after this particular cell ok so let me give a2 here and now let me go back to the data flow and we are good with sync transformation let me delete this particular uh, file and we will reload the data by rerunning the pipeline ok so we are good here our file name is same let me hit on debug for this pipeline so let's wait for the data flow to be completed so our data flow execution is completed now let me go back to the demo folder and let me hit on refresh so our output file is regenerated now let me click on edit and show you the data so you can see our data is coming perfectly ok so this time we did not make use of filter transformation instead we uh, defined the range in the excel data set by providing the starting position and it auto detected the end position ok and we were able to get the desired output ok so that's it for this video guys this was a very simple use case but while working we come across these kinds of scenarios so i wanted to share this as well so uh, i hope you liked the content please keep supporting this channel by hitting on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet 
and please hit on bell icon if you want to get the notification whenever I add videos. Okay, so please stay tuned. Thank you.